Let's examine rotating bodies in contact with each other. Gears are a specific case of this, but it's a common case that we encounter in engineering quite a bit. So we have two gears here, B and C, and usually we're given a angular velocity of one, and we're looking for the angular velocity of the other. And the thing we must realize when two bodies are in connection with each other and they're not slipping here in between, we know that the velocities have to be the same, right? So the velocity here, the velocity of B is equal to the velocity of C at this point. So right at that point, they're equal to each other. And the same thing goes for the tangential acceleration. The normal acceleration are not equal at that point, but the tangential acceleration is equal at that point. So how do we solve this? Well, we know that the velocity of B here is omega B times RB, and the velocity of C is omega C times RC. Now, notice how these are rotating in opposite directions. This one's rotating clockwise, and this one's rotating counterclockwise. Well, how does this equation factor this in? Well, it doesn't. But if we did perform our vector analysis, where we did omega b cross rb is equal to omega c cross rc, we would see in this analysis that we would get opposite rotations on these because the vectors, right? Remember the vector here is from the center rotation to this point, that would be RB, and that would be in the positive X direction, and RC would actually be in the negative X direction. So we would see here when we solve this that omega B and omega C were in opposite directions. So that's why I like the vector formulation of uh, using the cross product uh, for the tangential velocities here. But this also, these equations also apply for things like two pulleys connected with a belt in between. All right, so if we have pulleys connected with a belt, we know that the velocity of the belt, no matter if it's on this pulley A or pulley B, that velocity, that tangential velocity is going to be a constant wherever. So if we know that the tangential velocity is constant, then we can figure out what omega A is and what omega B is. So that's just a brief lesson on rotating bodies in contact with each other.